Hi guys, it's Dan with Green Touch. Uh, today we're going to be installing a bed rail mount system on a uh, Toto Tundra. So uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is look at our factory stake bed plugs. And we're going to be popping those out, simple screwdriver, just stick it in there, pop it out. Once I get to that point, I'm going to go ahead and take my bolt out of my stake bed mount because this is what we're going to use to help line up our hole in the back for drilling out on the bed rail. Gotcha. This will be uh, how we're going to line up, um, how we're going to drill out our hole on our, uh, on our bed liner that's mounted on the inside. So we're just going to go ahead and drop this right in. It'll kind of line up nicely. And what I normally do is I take this uh, little black or this little uh, piece of metal. This is uh, our spacer. And I set that right on top. That'll kind of guide me as far as where I want to mount it. So we're going to uh, go ahead and line that all up. And then we're going to jump on the inside of the bed and we're going to drill out the hole. Okay, now that we have our stake pocket, uh, our stake bed post in our uh, stake pocket, now we're going to go ahead and get our tape measure. We're going to measure down on Toyota's. It's going to be a four inch down hole is what we're going to have to end up drilling. So uh, I'm going to just work my tape measure right on up there. I got four inches. I'm going to go ahead and mark my hole where I want to drill it. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a keyhole saw because this has a bed liner in it and we have to get access to where the post is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and I marked it. Liner up. Okay, now we have access. That's the standard hole that comes factory. But we're going to have to go uh, about an inch above that. So we're going to go ahead and put our pilot hole in there and then we're going to drill our, our larger hole so that we'll be able to have access to put our bolt in. Okay, now that we have the, uh, the, the bed rail post mounted already into the truck, we're going to go ahead and take our, our actual bed rail. Now this is, we already put this together to save a little time. Very easy to do it. You're just going to seam these two pieces together. It's a two-piece rack. You have your lag bolts that go in there or your carriage bolts and then your nuts, your nylon lock nuts. So we've already had this assembled. Now we're just going to set this on top of the rail. There may be a little bit of adjustment needed when you go to do it. It all depends on your vehicle. But that can be done by the bolts on the back side. You can loosen those up, adjust them up a little higher, whatever. But that's, uh, that's where your adjustment's going to come into play. So now we're just going to take our, uh, our bolts and we're going to line this up and lock it in. And it's just that easy to do that. And then we'll just put our bolts in there and lock it down. And then next step will be is we're going to be accessorizing whatever the customer would like to have on here for, uh, for uh, racks. Could be trimmer racks, blower racks, water cooler racks, could be sprayer racks, could be about anything. But this will make your truck very efficient. <laughs>